ChristianMusicReview.org. I'm here live at the USF Sun Dome in Tampa, Florida, and I'm here with a special guest. This is Jason Horde. He's actually the touring guitarist with Third Day on their current tour. That's right. So uh, you're on the tour with them right now? I am. I joined the band back in uh, probably the spring of this year, and um, early summer. And we did a bunch of summer dates, uh, fairs, festivals, all that sort of stuff. And then um, we did the Mad Tour in October. And around that time, I was just going to be for the summer. And then they were like, man, we just want to keep you on out here and keep you doing this if you can do it. So I had to kind of balance that between the studio and, and um, production work that I do. But um, it has been awesome. And it's great, guys. I got to spend probably an hour and a half or get to spend an hour and a half every night after a show or an hour speaking with kids and just... And, and adults and just loving on them and just that's what it's about I'm a I love to meet people so that's so about ministry yeah I love it so and you get to play Southern Rock so what's better than that oh nothing man <laughs> so what so you um you do producing outside of, of working with Third Day right now and actually you uh just got done producing a good friend of mine John Waller he actually produced his new album Claire which uh, comes out next year um, tell us a little bit about that and tell us about your history with John you uh, yeah. you and John go back uh in the late 90s, you're actually the guitarist for him with his band, uh, according to John, for that's, a long time. That's right. We, um, I was doing studio work then as a teenager, like back in the day, and um, he recorded a record at the studio, and he's like, "Man, I'm, I need a guitar player." And they were asking him around, and like, "Man, I know this guy that plays bass, plays guitar, and plays mandolin a little bit." And so, um, he called me up out of the blue, and it's like, "Do you want to be in my Christian rock band?" At the time, I was in a bluegrass band playing mandolin, and um. It's like, man, Christian rock and electric guitar, I don't know, you know, I was figuring it out. And, uh, man, but I met him, and he played me a couple of his songs. I was like, this guy's heart is just right on the money. And um, and even then, that was, uh, man, that had to be 15 years ago now. Wow. <laughs> Dating myself a little bit, but that was 14 years ago, um, 15 years ago. Man, he just, he took it upon himself to, I think, pour into my life and, and just help guide me, you know, and... I don't know if he ever, I think at the time we were like, man, we're going to be, according to John, and we'll ride it out till we, you know, get tired of doing it or die or whatever, you know, we're thinking 20, 30 year career, and, and God just had other plans for us, and um, uh, that was for me to go into the studio and, and pour into artists, you know, when they're off the road and, and help them develop their sound, and for John, that was plugged into a church at the time in Colorado, and um, and then he... Uh, he started having all these babies and families, and then <laughs> his family was expanding, so he moved back home, and um, his church said, we want to do a record with John, so we, I helped him do a record, and then he got a deal and did some records, and um, so the new record was recorded this past, I guess, spring, early of the year and um, of 2010, and he just had written all these songs from this great place in his heart. We had about 15 or 16 songs, we whittled it down to these 10 or 11 songs, and um, and I think it's 10. Do you know about that? Is it 10? It's, yeah, it's 10. It's 10. Yeah, okay. So no 11. That one must have got cut. <laughs> that was going to be, there was a song in there, and we ended up uh, replacing it with another song. But, um, man, the record, it was such a blessing. It's always a blessing to be with friends that you've been friends with for, you know, 14 years. But it was just like my brother. And it was like working together, and we shared this great bond of music together and just brotherhood, like, in this this you know, common bond. And, um, well, you got most of, according to John, back together to help him record that album. Didn't we you? did. We grabbed, uh, we grabbed uh, Heath, uh, the bass player, and Brian was our last drummer. We had a couple drummers in according to John, but Brian Scoggin came in and played on it. He's now the Crowns drummer. So. That's the Crowns, yeah. Uh huh. And um, and then Matt Atkins on guitar. So it was pretty much a reunion. Um, it was ridiculous. We laughed a ton and told stories, and and in the process, just kind of crafted this record into. I think we're all really happy with it, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so I saw the pictures from you guys from the studios. You guys uh, have like a serious shot, and then a shot where you're all like yeah. fooling around and stuff. Totally. But, yeah. You know, yeah. I was I was talking to John when I first got the pre-release copy of Declare. I'm like, I called him up and I said, "Man, I said you really outdone yourself this time." <laughs> I said, "This new record is, you know, did I tell you your last record was your best record? No, this oh, record's God. the this record's the best one." Man. And. Um, I was uh, I was at Night of Joy in September and I saw you play it with Third Day. I was I saw you right. at the at the at the press thing at the oh yeah the yeah, Providence yeah, yeah. thing yeah thing yeah and I'm like I wonder if that's the same Jason that that John worked with and I texted John he's like yeah it's the same guy I'm like man that's crazy I would have known that I would have walked up and I said hi you didn't think about it 
Well, Declare comes out in uh, late April. There's not a set release date on it, but um, it, it, just an awesome album. It's going to be um, an album that you're definitely going to want to pick up. The first uh, track, As For Me, um, based on the scripture Jeremiah 24:15, is actually going to be available starting in January. So keep an eye on johnwallermusic.com for all the info on that. And Jason, we appreciate you joining Thanks us today. Sir. It's great to meet and, you. Great uh, to hang with you, Jay. Looking forward to you rocking out with Third Day tonight, man. We're pumped. Going to go get them. Go rock it. All right. Until next time, you guys take care, and we'll check you out later.